Let's go. Dogs are going crazy, people. Let's just get on with it. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm not going to be making a beat, but what I am going to be doing is listening to your beats and giving you some feedback on them. So if you guys wanted to be part of the beat critique, I asked you guys to comment on my most recent video saying beat critique. I'm now going to go through the comment section, take a look at those beats, give you some honest feedback on what's good about it, what's bad about it, and go from there. I'll be giving away some free content. You just let me know what you want. Anyway, let's dive into it. First up, we have a guy called Anurium Halder. Okay, we have a little Tekka type beat. Okay, that was quite nice. I like that. Drums were nice and clean, kick was nice and clean, and the melody was nice and clean. Um, the only thing I'd add to it would be a little bit of reverb on the drums, the hi-hats specifically. Real subtle reverb on the rest of the drums if you're going to add any reverb to the rest of the drums. But mainly add some reverb to that hi-hat just to give it more of like a space a space kind of vibe. And um, with the melody, that counter melody that came in, it, it was a little bit busy. So I'd maybe just simplify that a little bit. But other than that, he had the right vibe. That's a little Tekka vibe to me. Like, I'd hear a little Tekka on those kind of beats. So, very good beat, my friend. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have a guy called Johnny Beats. Yeah, I like that. I like that kind of dark vibe to it. It's got that grime, UK rap kind of grime vibe to it. Works really well. I, I, I struggle making those curls, so like, you know, you've done a good job of those. Hi-hats were nice and clean. That dark, spacey vibe to the melody left a lot of space for like an artist to do something over it. Sounded pretty dope to me. Even the intro was quite good. I know it had a lot of like scratchy effects in there, but if you listen to a lot of grime stuff, especially in the intros, that tends to happen Like they have like the intro and then a little like scratch and then the beat sort of goes so you know everything was fine with it to be honest there wasn't anything wrong with that um just a, a little bit busy on the drum side like there's a lot of stuff going on but again like it nothing was too prominent in terms of just getting the wave getting in the way of everything so yeah it was a solid beat solid solid beat so um thumbs up johnny let's move on to the next one next up we have zaki tori
I like everything about that beat, except the kick. That was a little bit busy, but other than that, that was a really nice beat. I really like the, the vibe to the melody, real nice kind of like smooth, chilled out vibe to it. Tempo was just about right, and it was well layered as well. Like if you notice, there was a few different elements that came in, but they weren't like too overpowering, so it left a lot of space still. So yeah, like that was super nice, absolutely super nice. I'm not sure if this will work for you, but yeah, just, I just take a few a few kicks out, and that is literally all I changed to it. So real, real nice beat. Well done for that one, Zaki Tori. Uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Okay, next up we have Saint. Let's check you out, Saint. That is probably my favorite one so far. Sorry to the other guys, but that is my problem. You probably guys, you guys probably think the same as me. That was pretty much spot on. Like the you know the dark vibe, that kind of spacey, kind of like that kind of Travis Scott vibe. So I think that was a Travis Scott type beat anyway. But yeah, had that kind of like trippy Travis Scott kind of vibe to the melody. The sound selection was like on point. You know, they were super clean sounds. The mix was on point. The sound selection themselves, they wasn't very. I haven't I haven't heard that snare in many beats before. So like I like the uniqueness of it and you know it all just came together real nice like you know everything kind of complemented each other and most importantly there was tons of space for somebody to do something over that which is like key. So yeah push that beat out that was a really nice beat. Uh, so yeah well done Saint. Well done Saint that was a nice beat. Let's move on to the next one. Next up we have Benjamin Beats. Again, that was a real nice beat. Um, really nice. I love that. It's definitely got a Juice World type vibe to it. Like, most definitely. The vibe was there with the melody. Kind of had that emotional, kind of wavy kind of vibe to the melody. Uh, mix was fairly on point. I'd maybe just turn the kick up a little bit. But other than that, it was fairly on point. One thing that I would change uh, was just that snare. It was kind of like a loose snare. I think with that beat, like the, th the thing that would have just been like the icing on the pudding would just be that if just taking out that snare and I'd replace it with that. It's, it's super popular. It's just that really tight clap, that trap clap that everybody uses at the minute. I know everybody uses it, but it's so versatile and it would have worked perfectly with that beat. Um, but that's the only thing that changed about it. Everything else was on point. Uh, maybe just work on the mix and clean it up a little bit. But, you know, other than that, like, that was, you know, a very solid beat. So, well done, Benjamin Beast. So, next up, we have Matty Beats. That had massive potential, that could have really worked well, I think it. most of it does work well, something just seems off, it sounds like the melody doesn't have a huge amount of direction, like it doesn't sound like it's going 
places it kind of jumps about a little bit too much for me. <sighs> I don't know what it is, like the drums were fine, I just think it, something, something just seemed off about it, something just seemed a little bit messy about it. Uh, maybe a little bit too much reverb, maybe the sonics just weren't sat in the right place, I don't know, but it, something just didn't sound on with that one. Just, you know, a couple of niggles here, a couple of changes could, will make that, you know, a really nice beat, so maybe change the layout of the drums, maybe make them a little bit more simpler, because the melody was kind of complex, so maybe simplify the drums a little bit, and I think just work on the sonics, I think it was the sonics that just didn't sit right in my ears, like, maybe the drums were too stereo, I think the kick was kind of spread out too far, um, so yeah, I mean, just, just work on a couple of things with that, and it will be, um, you'll be very spot on with it. Okay, and let's move on to the final beat of the Beat Critique video, and we have got a guy called Klyx, K-L-Y-X Music. I think that's rivaled the uh, one I heard earlier to my favourite. That was so nice, so nice. I love that like offbeat vibe with the drums. It was kind of offbeat, but it was still within like you know the right you know it still hit in the right spots. It was it was perfect. The kick wasn't too overpowering. It had a real nice punchy low end to it. I love that sample. I don't know if you sampled it. I don't know if you made that melody from scratch, but it sounded lit so yeah i mean that was a real real nice beat that snare was super super clean real nice high end to it sounded real like crisp and like sharp so like pff, got nothing wrong to say with that beat uh, yeah that was a good beat to finish off this video i think that was that was pretty dope i'm pretty happy with that i'm happy with a few of those so i'm going to be sending a few dms out to you guys um once i get this video dropped and uh, yeah you guys can just let me know what you want and i shall send it through for you for free and, and yeah we'll wrap the video up there people hope you guys enjoyed this one uh stay tuned i'm going to be dropping more videos more regularly for you guys tutorials little tips producer tips marketing tips all the good stuff uh, so make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell as well and uh yeah make sure you don't miss out on any of those that will be coming up and yeah that's all for today people peace